guys welcome back to another episode of atlas survival shelters i know you're jumping for joy guys if you're not subscribers please like share and subscribe to my channel i try to bring videos out at least twice a week and i'm going to start doing more for you now because i think time's running out and we need to all get ready today we're going to talk about the swiss made NBC air filtration system that will protect you from nuclear, biological, and chemical agents. This particular air system is made by Andair in Switzerland. It costs about $10,000, but it's the real McCoy. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end. And there's the air system running. And you can hear how quiet it is. And oh yeah, it's blowing. But uh, that's all the noise the air system makes. And this is the VA-150. This is a military uh, grade NBC air filtration system and this little filter right here the carbon filter I mean that sucker's heavy it's got 60 pounds of carbon in it and that's what's required to filter out the uh, the radiation we're going to talk about the NBC air filtration system that I put in most of my bunkers this is the VA 150 from a company called Andair that's in Switzerland this is my primary air system that I put in almost all my bunkers the only time I don't use this air system if it's one of those little mini tiny bunkers, okay? This is literally too big of an air system. But when I trained in Switzerland, one of the cool thing was when I went into all the military bunkers that they had there, this was the exact same air system that the Swiss military had in their bunkers. Now, the difference was they would have like four of them in a row, okay, where I only have one, but they would have like four or 5,000 square feet of shelters down there, so they needed to move more air. But this particular air system moves enough air for a bunker that's about 1,500 square feet. This bunker that we're in right now is only 300 square feet. So this moves 176 cubic feet of minute. So anyway, so the way it works, you just turn on the switch and it turns on. But the good thing is, let's say you've lost all your power. This is what's great about my air system. You can manually operate this air system. You just take this handle right here, you just hook it on there, and if you want, you can tighten down the screw so the handle doesn't come off. And you only have to operate this for about 6 to 10 minutes. Now this thing is really simple. If you, some of you guys have been following me, you've seen the little pictures of a 6-year-old girl with a broken arm operating it with one hand. But this little thing is blowing like, here, sit, sit there, watch this. See, I'm holding that with two fingers, it's holding it. That's how much wind that is blowing right there. But this is the air system that you guys are gonna get when you buy one of your shelters from me. Um, they do come in different sizes. There is a VA-75, which is a smaller one that would be for a smaller shelter. But if you buy one of my larger culvert shelters or one of my larger modular shelters, this is your air system. It's got 60 pounds of carbon in here. And this will protect you from the nuclear, the biological, and the chemical. This is not some homemade jobber. This is a $10,000 NBC air filtration system. Guys, I'm not joking around when it comes to your protection. I'm not going to cut corners, and this is a real air system. So if you're ever going to build you a shelter or buy you a shelter, make sure that the air system has 60 pounds of carbon in it, if it's a large bunker, and not five or six pounds of carbon, okay? And also make sure it's not homemade. And there's people who say, well, I'm just gonna make my own, my own air system. Well, if they do that, it's to save money. So I'm not saying it won't work, I'm just saying it's not to the standards. A lot of these smaller air systems are designed for mobile vehicles, like this right here. You see there's a trailer and there's a truck. This is a mobile, a mobile command center. Those small air systems are designed for those mobile command centers that you just saw. All right, that's what they're designed for. So putting them in a bunker of this scale is like putting a, is like using a 22 rifle to kill a, a elephant. Yeah, you'll hit it, put a dent in it, and you might scare them, but you're not gonna knock it down. You need an elephant gun, and this is an elephant gun right here. So just keep that in mind. At Atlas Survival Shelters, we're not gonna cut any corners, and you're gonna get the real McCoy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the NBC air filtration system, and again, I'll see you in the next video.